Hi folks, this is Jason, hope you're okay today. Uh, we're looking at the life of Bishop Lightfoot, who's a great uh, scholar and um, a really inspirational thinker. And um, if we're going to look at historical Jesus studies, I think J.B. Lightfoot uh, is a, uh, an important person. Sorry about this. Uh, Lightfoot. This is from um, F.F. Bruce article. Uh, we're just going to read a little bit of it and then I'll link to it and you can read it in full. Joseph Barber Lightfoot was born in Liverpool in 1828. His family moved to Birmingham where, from 1844, he was educated at King Edward School under the headmastership of James Prince Lee, late first Bishop of Manchester. At school, he formed a lifelong friendship with E.W. Benson, destined to become Archbishop of Canterbury. In 1847, he entered Trinity College, Cambridge, where one of his classical tutors was Brooke Foss Westcott, his senior, by only three years, and himself a former pupil at King Edward School, Birmingham. He took a double first in, in classics and mathematics, and in 1852 was elected a Fellow of Trinity, becoming a tutor in the college five years later. He was ordained deacon in 1854 and priest in 1858, on both occasions at the hands of Pr uh, Prince Bishop Lee. In 1861 he became Huslian Professor of Divinity at Cambridge, and in 1875 Lady Margaret Professor. Uh, he had been appointed to Canary at St Paul's in 1871, and in 1879 he was preferred to the See of Durham, where he remained until his death in 1889. In his earlier years, as a college teacher, he taught classics as well as Greek New Testament. At one time, he contemplated producing a critical edition of Euripides, Eurip, 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 or Euripides. To those years, to belong the short-lived journal of classical and sacred philology, in 1854-59, of which he was joint editor. To his master of classical literature, he added a wide and exact acquaintance with the Greek and Latin fathers. Five years after taking his degree, he began to study the letters of Ignatius, an exercise which was to engage his attention for the next 30 years. In 1871 to 1881, Lightfoot was also an active member of the New Testament Company of Revisers, and the thought which, the, which he devoted to his work is illustrated by his essay on Fresh Revision of the English New Testament, 1871. Basically, uh, Lightfoot was... Uh, um, a num with a number of bishops, Westcott and Hall and some others, was instrumental in stemming the tide of um, uh, extreme sceptical skept extreme skeptical, uh, scholarship against the New Testament. And what Lightfoot did is he defeated the sceptics on their own grounds by just doing better scholarship, r more rigorous scholarship, uh, and more fair and uh, well balanced scholarship and uh, if you want to know more about that I'll link to this uh, PDF and you'll find out more about it